So basically, it was Ron, Ron Johnson and Rand Paul were a couple of the Republican senators that were there. And then uh, this is Chris Krebs. He's the guy, um, the security task force guy uh, that said it was the safest election ever. And this is a couple of things he had to say. At the, the citizens of the United States of America that are responsible for executing this sacred democratic institution... Let me know if you guys can hear it. All right. Let me get a, a are thumbs being up. threatened well, yeah. on a daily basis. I mean, you 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 name it. Whether it's emails, whether it's phone calls, whether it's people showing up at your house. I, this just I don't. This is not America I recognize, and it's got to stop. We need everyone across uh, uh, the, you know, the leadership ranks to stand up. I, I think I you know I would appreciate more support from my own party, Repu the Republican Party, to call this stuff out and end it. We got to move on. We have a president elect in uh, President elect Biden. We have to move on. These officials that are Republicans, look at Georgia, Brad Raffensperger, Gabriel Sterling, uh, Jeff Duncan. It, it, these are Republicans that are putting country over party. They're being subjected to just horrific threats as a result. This is not America. That's a little bit of what he had to say. Uh. I think this is a good one. He talks about uh, kind of how how it, a lot of the data that these the, these Trump people have been presenting, they're they're really just they're just misreading it and they don't understand what they're looking at. It was it was not that there were sixty. I dug into that and it, it makes the claim that then you know sixty eight percent of the votes cast uh, are therefore uh, not dependable. And, and I've seen those claims being repeated on social media by the campaign, by the president. And so I wanted to understand what that was all about. So I looked at it, and, and in fact, it, it, was, it was not that there were 68% of the votes there were errors. It was that the election management system's logs had uh, recorded 68% of, uh, so of the logs themselves had some sort of alert rate. And that is being used to spin the... That th that machine is not trustworthy. But the problem is, is the mach the report itself doesn't actually specify any of those errors, except for one. And it's on page 19. Or actually, it's on page 20. And it says there is no permission to bracket zero bracket, and that is being claimed to mean that somebody tried to get in in the machine and wipe the records. And so I looked at that and I said, okay, I don't know if it actually says that. And something jumped out at me having worked at Microsoft, um, that these are Windows-based machines. The election management system is a Windows-based machine, and the election management system is coded with a programming language called C Sharp. There is no permission to bracket zero bracket is a placeholder for a parameter. So it may be that it's just not good coding, but that certainly doesn't mean that somebody tried to get in there in zero. They misinterpreted the language in what they saw in, the, in, in their forensic audit. And that's just one example. They misinterpret, and Don Palmer, Commissioner Palmer, I'm sure can. Look at how salty he is. <laughs> Fuck, I don't, if you guys don't know who Ron Johnson is, he's a senator from Wisconsin, the Republican senator. And he's about, he's about as bad shit as they come, especially in the Senate. He, uh, He's the perfect person to want to hold a hearing like this. But this is such a, this, uh, this kind of just goes to show, uh, you know, how they've, how they've kind of led this effort, how they've, how they've made this whole thing possible, this whole misinformation, election fraud, horse shit campaign, is they get a couple people that can, you know, put forward some evidence that to a layman or somebody, you know, like us that doesn't look at all this, like, digital uh, you know stuff all the time all this like oh well it's the this this security software well this was manipulated by this that you know they, they just kind of gum everything up and that's what they present as evidence and there's not enough people in you know the intelligence community or a lot of people don't even trust those kind of people to push back and say hey uh None of this evidence makes any fucking sense so what they just presented us is horse shit and that's kind of what uh, he explained today uh, a, a little bit, but, you know, because, you know, uh, some mom on Facebook doesn't understand any kind of, you know, computer technology, you know, voting technology stuff. 
Uh, she just knows that uh, she wanted Trump to win, and some guy on TV said that he did, so she's going to roll with that because of uh, this mass algorithm that... And what did, uh, what did Kaylee McEnany say? A uh, hundred gajillion to one? Can talk to us about whether there's a HAVA 90-day har safe harbor rule or which of the VVSGs is applicable to those machines and whether that machine... So I'm seeing these reports that are factually inaccurate continue to be promoted. That's what rumor control is all about. That's what I'm continuing to do today based on my experience and understanding and how these systems work. We have to stop this. It's undermining confidence in democracy. Well, I... And yeah, I mean, and he's 100% right. The, again, this is, this is your tax dollars at work. Uh, the guy whose job it is to make sure elections are secure uh, says they're secure, 